Excited to open my new 07 swag. Uh, yeah, and that's me in the newspaper. Serious? Incredibly generous haul from the boys at 07. Link in the description. Uh, go check them out if you want to look boss. God damn it, it's hot today. Lubed up. Anyways, I told you guys I had some filming for TV this week, um, and I wasn't lying. Uh, so I'm taking you with me for the journey, um, heading down to London. Uh, hopefully, there'll be some cool stuff to eat down there. Uh, so, yeah, let's get to it. Siri, chart a course for London. Here's what I found on the web for Siri, chart a course for London. Never works. AC on full blast. So I don't know if you guys have ever driven on the uh, the A1 in England, but over the last, I don't know, 20 miles, I've counted more sex shops than service stations. Serious. 100 miles to go. Sweet Jesus Christ. That was a four and a half hour journey. I think I've been through, I don't know, six congestion zones and finally found the dodgiest looking underground car park I've ever been anywhere near. But we made it. That was one of the worst journeys ever. I'm sweaty now than when I left. Anyway, here we are. The Travel Lodge. Didn't think anything could get worse than those Premier Inns from last year. Good Lord, I'll show you around. There's the spot where the minibar should be. Rather nice budget mirror there, and uh, a TV that doesn't work. <laughs> That's a classy touch. Here it is, this is the dream. Awful red bathroom tiling. And uh, yeah, about seven pints, just less. Nothing too crazy, just gonna try to get this down in about two minutes and go to sleep. So I actually have a dressing room, this is pretty cool. Almost as big as my hotel room. So just chilling in my, uh, my dressing room, watching a little golf. It's the Open Championship. Not really much of a golf watcher, but it's quite therapeutic. And, uh, they just told me it's going to be pretty much a full day of filming, uh, so I'm guessing I'm not going to get done till like six. So not sure if I'm going to get much time to eat anything cool today, but I'm going to bring you something. Not sure what, but something. Still watching golf, making me sleepy. Lots of waiting around, just got done in uh, hair and makeup. Not sure if I look any different. Put some uh, foundation on, cover these bags up. I can't tell you what I just did, but suffice to say, it's pretty painful. <laughs> Morning guys. Thanks for joining me on my uh, little road trip so far. Uh, like I said yesterday, uh, I can't tell you what I, um, what I was actually filming yesterday. It's kind of a secret. Uh, but it is going to be broadcast pretty soon in August, so not too long to wait. Um, Anyways, I, it took ages yesterday filming, so um, didn't get out of London till like eight o'clock. So I decided to stop uh, a place called Daventry because I felt terrible after the stunt that I did yesterday. So, um, but I've just realised it's National Junk Food Day, right? So should be some places to try out on the way home. All right, so we got another long drive ahead. About 150, 160 miles. Um, so right now we're in uh, Leicester. 
uh, at Jones's Cafe and Bistro to take on their 666 breakfast challenge. What's going on? What's happening, Beard Army? It's your boys and Geef checking in. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is some video footage I got uh, on my trip to London, like I say, filming some stuff for TV. Can't say what it was, it's top secret, but it's going to be out soon, so I'll let you know the air dates. Uh, and it was my intention to do some stuff on the day down there, but uh, the, the kind of stunt that I filmed um, was, was pretty late in the day and didn't really allow me to get out and do anything, so... Uh, this is the day after, and this is in Daventry on my way home. Actually, no, this is in Leicester. I stayed in Daventry. Um, this is at Jones Cafe and the Bistro, uh, the the 666 challenge. Um, I kind of said uh, last time I did a breakfast challenge, I was going to give them the swerve for a while, just because I really hate eating in the morning. I'm not built for it. Um, I never eat in the morning. Uh, normally, just wake up, a little bit of coffee, some water. Then eat later in the day when, you know, I've had time to think about food. Um, but I thought, you know, I'll try this one. It's a little bit different. It's got pancakes on. It's basically six of everything. Six sausages, six bacon, six hash browns, six slices of toast, stuff like that. Uh, and I really wanted to go for Randy's record of 12 minutes, uh, sorry, 11 minutes 50. Yeah, as you can see, a bit behind that. <laughs> All right, guys. So it's been about 90 minutes uh, since I finished that uh, 666 breakfast challenge. <sighs> Sorry, Mum. I'm now in Nottingham, Sherwood Forest, Robin Hood, the Sheriff in Nottingham. That's, that's pretty much all I've got. Um, headed to Rubs Smokehouse. I think that's what it's called. Uh, and they do two different eating challenges. Um, not sure which one I'm going to do yet because that breakfast was actually way bigger than I thought it was going to be. About six pounds, so still kind of sitting pretty heavy, but I'll do my best. Who's going to? Better sleep on the sirens on. Cool place. Basically, I'm driving back from uh, London today. Yeah, so I was a little bit behind uh, Randy's time on the breakfast. But it's to be expected because yesterday just straight wrote me off. Now this is one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. It's like a burger on top of a milkshake. But that's that's not as weird as it gets, believe me. It's in a waffle, which is weird. Um, and yeah, I nearly didn't show you the, the pretty side there. Um, but it's on top of a milkshake, right? But the milkshake is not a milkshake. It's beer with Dr. Pepper and chocolate milkshake. And uh, I really hate beer, but it, it was weird. It was like tolerable, but had this odd like beer aftertaste. Um, and the, the record on this is like six minutes, but I, I mean, I knew with all that stuff in me that I wasn't gonna, I mean, I ate the last meal like 90 minutes ago or something. Um, that was a pretty big one. So I just wanted to get it down. You've got to do it in under 12 minutes uh, to get a t-shirt. And you actually don't, you don't get the meal free, which kind of bugged me a little bit. But you get on the Wall of Fame and stuff, so... I guess it's worth doing. And it's different, so... You know, maybe it's a little bit more entertaining for you guys. But yeah, the taste was just odd, man. It was like... You kind of got like a nice milky, chocolatey, malty flavour. And then this nasty, like, bitter beer aftertaste. So, yeah, won't be doing this one again. That was gross. 
just because I don't like beer. And now my belly's really full. <laughs> it was too soon. <laughs> too soon. Anyways, got to head back home now. Pretty much done a, a food biathlon. I don't know if I have, if I have enough. Ugh, I can't speak. I don't know if I have enough room to make it a food triathlon. We'll see. Well, that's been a long trip, guys, but we made it back home to the palace. Two eating challenges in about three hours today. Three eating challenges in 24 hours if you uh, count what I did yesterday. Uh, I know it's been a little bit different to my normal videos, but thanks for joining me for the journey and um, catch you next time. Yeah, it was my intention to do a third uh, in Sheffield on the way back up, but my stomach was just crying out for some rest after um, the past few days' abuse. Uh, anyways, let me know if you like the, the restaurant challenges. It's been a while since I've done one, so if you like that, tell me I'll do some more of them. Uh, but for now, bid. <laughs>